If you're curious to see most of the nail polish looks I sported this month, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen, and welcome back, or if it's your first time here at HMM Makeup, then welcome. I am very happy to have you. Today is all about nail polish. I hope you enjoy nail polish. I'm doing two things if you're not familiar with this monthly video. I'm going to show you uh, pictures of as many of the nail polish looks that I captured during the month, which is most of them. And I'm also going to reveal from the mini many month from Ciate, two more nail polishes to take me into the month of May 2022. So uh, I open up two of the box, um, what do you call, numbers in the advent calendar every month. There are 24 of these little um, doors, so it's two per month and it's a lot of fun because I never know what it is that I'm going to open up. Now, I do have a reasonably extensive nail polish uh, collection, a couple hundred, and uh, so I both use the ones that I select out of the advent calendar from the previous month, and I also just go into my collection and uh, create some pairings. And I do have a couple of really fun ones again this month. It was a lot of fun last month, and I'm, I, I'm just I'm doing a repeat. Let's get into the looks, and as I said, I have pictures of most of the looks from this past month. I started off the month very, very tame, and I started off the month with a brand that I have just started using nail polish from, and it looks like it was just a, a Christmas set, a holiday set, I should say, a couple years ago, and, and I finally am getting to it, and these, this is two of the ten that was in the set, and it, it made for a really pretty look, in my opinion. The uh, the accent was just for the ring finger, uh, if memory serves, and it it was just a really nice, easy pairing for to just kick off the month. And I went from really basic, really neutral, easygoing to something a little bit more quirky, and I think it's because it was the month of April. I went with kind of an Easter look, with these two. Now the e.l.f. Um, nail polishes don't have names, but the Ciate nail polishes do. So the mint green is one that I pulled uh, from the calendar last month, and it is called Mint for Each Other, which is I think is really cute. And then this kind of um, mauvey purple is called Spinning Teacup. So really cute pairing, and I thought that the polka dots were a lot of fun. I did kind of a Kate Spade type look uh, either last month or the month, month before using polka dots, really enjoyed it, and so I decided to replicate that kind of idea with these two, and I really thought it was cute. And then I went with another couple of nail polishes from e.l.f. Um, as I, um, I think I mentioned, I don't think that they do nail polish anymore, but um, the, they're, these are fun, these are fun. And so this was a really nice pairing as well. Very, very basic, but quite, uh, quite attractive, I think, kind of subdued, but the, um, this kind of a shinier version of the uh, gray was on the ring finger, and I really thought that this was, this was a nice pairing. Silver can be edgy, but I felt like this was very kind of a basic color set that would be pretty much appropriate for for anything and i really like i said elf for that one christmas that they had nail polishes i think it was only one christmas it's a really solid as in a good quality nail polish i was really surprised i thought it was going to be kind of junky and it's not so i i really wish that they would um release more nail polishes like these uh, they're really good and the next one i have does have an elf <laughs> nail polish as well, along with one from Sephora that I really like called Dream Escapade. And this one is one that I, I do really like wearing, and together they made for a really nice pairing. I, I just really enjoyed the combo, and so much so that I did a similar combo later on in the month. Now this one is a combo, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of, and I don't know why, but I did end up using these two together, and I, 
I thought they looked good. This one is Better Off Red from Deborah Lippman. And from Sinful Colors, I have uh, Bonbons or Bonbon, depending on your mother tongue. And yeah, I really enjoyed that combo. Again, it's too bad I don't have a picture of it for you. And then I went a little vampy and festive at the same time. I did this combo, two uh, color hits from S Sephora. And this one I always have to take off. I think it's the boudoir. Private boudoir, yeah, that's the, the name of it. They put black writing on a burgundy, deep burgundy color. I don't know why they did that. Uh, so we've got uh, Private Boudoir, and this one is called Firework. Both color hits from Sephora, and I, I really enjoyed the combo. I thought it was cute. I really did. Um, and I thought that it was similar, though, to two looks ago, uh, as far as it was similar to this one, in my opinion. But both of those looks I really enjoyed. And then I went a little edgy with this combo. Now, it may not look that edgy as we look at it, but I felt like on my fingers it was it was a really eye-catching combo. I mean, just this blue on its own is a pretty strong combo. This is Knee Highs from Siate, and this one is Tempest. Uh, both are from Siate. It was not my favorite, but it was interesting. And just because it was interesting, it was memorable, and I didn't love it, but I enjoyed it, if that makes sense. And apparently red was a theme uh, during the month of April because I have another combo here, and I don't have a picture of this one. I'm pretty sure I don't have a picture. This one is called Dangerous Affair. It's one of my favorite reds from the Ciate line. And then this one is a Deborah Lipman called uh, Crimson and Clover. So Dangerous Affair and Crimson and Clover, and again this one usually on the ring finger, the accent type of color I tend to put on the ring finger. I do really like this combination and I will do it again for sure. It's They're beautiful, they're a great pairing, and because they're deep red, it's not as, in French we would say criard, uh, it's not as loud as a bright red. And I think that that is why I feel very comfortable wearing it in just about any setting. It's a really nice pairing. Now this next one I hated, but it could have been user error. And this is the Marc Jacobs uh, Purple Glaze. And this is what I paired it with for the ring finger. And this is the Gilded Goddess by Siate London. And Here's the problem I had. This one, it's a very sheer nail polish, so it will show all imperfections on your nail. And I, I applied it on a day that was pretty cold, and I don't tend to heat my house a whole lot. I think that's it's better for my health to, to have the fluctuations in temperature. It actually is for the endocrine system for a bunch of reasons. It's a really good idea to not have a set temperature in your house. You can. If you're curious about that, just, just Google it and you'll find all sorts of information. And the problem is that my house was cold and therefore this one did not set. I could just wipe it right off after a half hour of drying time. I'm not kidding. So I don't know if this one is particularly sensitive to cold uh, or if just in general any nail polish that day wouldn't have worked, but this one worked. So why wouldn't this one dry? I don't know. But I'm. this one is in Purgatory. I have two other ones from Marc Jacobs that are similar, kind of a glaze. And uh, not, not a fan right now. Not a fan. So I will try to apply it again in a warmer setting. And it better work. Otherwise, it's getting, it's getting tossed. Like I have no patience for products that don't work. So that was a combo that I liked, but that basically failed. Oh, and how about hitting that little subscribe button in the corner if you like this content and want to be notified of future videos? It helps me out and keeps you informed. And finally, we have the last look, which I sported twice, and that's why I left it to the end, because I wanted to talk about it a little bit. 
First off, they are both really good nail polishes. One of them, you wouldn't, would not be surprised. It's e.l.f., therefore I love it. And then this one is a Wet n Wild uh, that I picked up a couple years ago for Halloween and never wore it for Halloween. I just wore it for day to day, go figure. And that is the look that I have on right now. And I really, really do like these two nail polishes. I think that the look is quite nice and actually really goes well with my eye look, don't you think? It, both nail polishes are super durable. They do a good job. Um, and I did put on a matte, more of a matte finish on my nails, though it, I should have maybe put a second coat of the matte because they don't look all that matte right now. At the previous time that I wore this look during this month, they were a lot more matte, but anyway, very, very pretty combo. I it, It's a keeper for sure. And, uh, and black nail polish on nails that are not too long, I really, really like it. And I think that I'm going to do that more for a deep gray, black, deep kind of wine brown, those types of colors. Uh, I think I'm going to gravitate toward a little bit more than super bright colors. It seems to be a preference for me right now. There we go, 10 pairings in total that I showed you. That's a lot, that's a lot to put on my nails in a month. That's okay, um, really enjoyed experimenting. I cannot believe I was changing my nail polish every three days, that's, that's a lot more often than usual. And one thing I can say for next month is I do want to play around with decals more than I did. So you'll probably see decals in the next month. And if you have any uh, color combo requests, by all means, let me know. I uh, don't mind getting suggestions. It gives me some ideas. And what we have to do next is basically reveal the two polishes that I'm going to absolutely use because they're the ones from the advent calendar in uh, May. So here's the advent calendar. Let's open it up. Okay, so we are, I think at nine and 10. Yeah, so we've got nine right here and 10 is right by my thumb right here. Okay, so nine first. And there's always a saying in the box. Uh, so it says, shine bright, live bold. And it's a very pretty kind of uh, pinky purple. And it is called Soda Pop. So there is the first of the two that I'm revealing this month. Well, for me anyway. Okay, so we've got nine and 10 I said was by my thumb. Oh, now that is bright. That is very yellow. And it says, be your own sunshine. Cute for a yellow nail polish. Okay, so up close, here is the, oh, it's called Loop, Loop the Loop and Soda Pop. Loop the Loop and Soda Pop. I'm probably going to do little polka dots again with this combo. It just looks like it would be fun to get that going as a look. So very much like what I did with these two. Let me just show you. So very much like I did with the mint green and the purpley pink, I'm going to do with these guys. And I think it will look really quite cute. And a good combo for May, right? It's going to be bright, sunny, uh, kind of past spring going into what feels a little bit more summery. Perfect. So that's it. Well, you have heard about one of the looks that you can expect in the next month. As I said, if you have any combos that you would like to see, just general colors or specific nail polish shades, I am all ears. And if you have favorite combos, regardless of the brand, 
let me know what your go-to combos are. I would be curious to hear and also wouldn't mind going and hunting in my collection to see if I have anything that's kind of similar uh, to, to try out a look that, that you like. Well, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching the walkthrough of all the looks that I created during the month of April for nail polish looks. And uh, if you have any recommendations on pairings for some nail polish looks, I am all ears, regardless of brand, just kind of the types of colors that you tend to like to see together or layered uh, one on top of the other, I would love to hear. And uh, as I said, Decals will be making a reappearance because they've been away for a while. So that's it, that's it. I'm not going to keep talking. See you in the next video, but for now, take care.